Welcome to EMTB videos. The Rocky Mountain Powerplay e-bike uses the Dynami 3.0 motor. The Dynami motor system is developed in Canada by Propulsion Power Cycle. At 8.2 pounds or 3.7 kilos, it's not a lightweight motor. All Rocky Mountain EMTBs sold in Europe is limited to 25 kilometers per hour, 250 watts and 108 newton meters. The motor rotation speed is rated at 1200 RPM. This is quite low. Other e-bike motors can exceed 4000 RPM. Rocky Mountain claims the lower motor speed results in less motor whine and noise. The Dynami 3.0 is a quite different motor. The chain is pulled in through an upper chain guide. From there it wraps around the motor cog before entering the chain ring. Between the motor cog and the chain ring is another pulley. This one is attached to an arm and the entire arm moves as the chain is stretched. This arm is attached to a torque sensor, so it's basically a throttle lever. Finally, the chain enters a lower pulley before leaving the motor area. That last pulley is there to increase the contact patch between the chain and the chain ring. So, how does it ride? I started off with testing the motor at max power, at 100%. It's quite controllable at technical surfaces, especially when the motor engages. But when going really slow forward, it was a bit difficult to control the power. When going slow, I needed to worry about keeping my balance as well as not pedaling too hard. On a few occasions, I made the bike power ahead when I really wanted it to go easy. This is not bad at all for 100%, but I eventually backed down to 75-80% to 80 to be able to easily control the motor on the trails. The motor kicks in very pleasantly. In technical terrain, it's easy to control as it powers up. The motor activates from a standstill, which makes it good for starting in steep terrain. Also, it's very quick to disengage as soon as I unweight the pedals. Once you're riding, you can't go really slow without losing motor assistance. But you need to keep turning the pedals or the motor will cut. If you're coasting and suddenly stab the pedals to lift the front end, you will get no help from the motor. That's the downside of a motor that is programmed to kick in pleasantly. There will be a slight delay when engaging. If I keep the pedals turning with minimal force, the motor is active and will respond when I hit the pedals. Making sharp turns and repeatedly going on and off the pedals is easy. The motor won't kick in violently and push me out of balance. The Dynami is not programmed to smooth out power delivery. That makes the ride feel very natural. The rider is usually in full control. There are a couple of downsides to this though. On transport sections, the motor doesn't feel as strong as the 108 Nm suggest. On this stretch, I get over 24 km per hour with other motors, while I get about 22 to 23 km with this one. It actually is a powerful motor, but you have to work constantly. On other motors you can pedal with less force through part of the pedal rotation and the motor will fill in for you. You get some micro brakes. It just feels like more work riding the Dynami 3.0, despite all the power. This motor has such a natural feel to it that pedal bob became pretty obvious. Other motors that smooth out power delivery will have minimal pedal bob on the full suspension bike. This may sound a bit negative, but if you want the most natural feeling motor, this is how it's got to be. Most of this test was done in the middle assistance level, but that doesn't really matter because each assistance level can be tuned between 0 and 100% and they are exactly the same. There is no difference in how the motor engages and uh, disengages between the levels. The Dynami does not come with a display. All the info from the motor system is displayed through the LEDs on the handlebar remote. The LEDs show different colors to represent battery state of charge and they blink with red, orange or green when you change the assistance level. Walk assist is activated by pushing and holding the button that reduces assistance level. Once the light starts flashing, let go and press and hold the same button again. Walk assist is pretty good, adjust speed by changing gears. The motor noise is very different, but quite noticeable. It sounds like the drivetrain on a regular bike that is dry and out of tune. The test bike has been through a lot. There would probably be less noise if the drivetrain had been in better shape. The noise isn't intrusive. There is no motor whine that increases as the motor spins faster. The 2018 motor had a weird ticking noise that has been fixed for 2019. 
The Dynamo 3.0 has got a very natural feel thanks to the way it delivers power and quickly responds to pedal force. You pick this motor if you want performance on trails over performance on road.